Okay, we're gonna update on my garden. I just finished digging. See right here, this is a compost pile. Uh, I put some stuff on top, but all the rest of the stuff is well cooked. Look at this. And uh, I want you to see this. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at that. That's beautiful. It smells no smell at all. Uh, it's leaves and grass clippings. Leaves and grass clippings and manure. Some manure. Not a lot. About 360 pounds of manure I put in here. And uh, look at that. It is just as soft and crumbly. And uh, where I'm putting it at, let me show you where I'm putting it at. These are fruit trees. These are fruit trees I put in here this year. There's some grass. I use grass. I use weeds, everything. That's weeds on top. But this right here is a honey crisp apple. Apple tree. That's what that is. It's, a, it's a put in there this year. Um, it's going to grow like crazy. I just put this down here today. I'm going to give you another update before fall. Uh, this one here is a small little tree. This tree, was getting, this tree had me concerned, but it's doing okay. Now, see the leaves right there that came out on it? It was real small when they sold it to me. In fact, the tree company almost gave them to me because they were so small. Practically gave them to me. Um, but they're dwarfs trees. All of my trees are dwarfs. I like dwarfs because dwarfs allow you to do what you got to do and, and with the space. Now, see this one here? This one here, yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't remember. Uh, but all the apple trees I got was Honeycrisp, Granny Smith, and um, Fuji. And this one over here, look at that, all the compost around that tree. This tree was taken for dead at first. This one here, this is a uh, Dutch pear tree. It's a Dutch. It's a beautiful tree though, beautiful. It was it was about, about 18 inches high this, this uh, spring. It is put on like maybe three feet of growth. And this one here always did well. I see all that compost down at the bottom. And I'm also going to add a emulsified uh, emulsif what ground up fish. I can't say the word right now. I can't think of it. But this, look at all that compost. That's what you do. This is what you do. You put, this tree is so healthy. It's thick. It's, this tree was bought for $9. Believe it or not, nine bucks. And some places this tree would sell for close to $25. This one here is a honey crisp. Look at that. Tall. It's about oh, almost three and a half feet tall. About three feet tall, I guess. See the compost at the bottom? I should have put, I'm going to put more there than that. That's what I'm going to put. Because you always try to feed the smallest trees. Get them up and going. Here, grass clippings. Right there. Grass, grass clippings. Shake away the, the compost from them. They, some of the time they'll grow in the compost pile. They'll start growing grass. So what I do, I turn it over where the roots are facing the sun, and it'll kill them. And then there's my this tree right here is a um, peach tree. But what what's going on here? The scion died, so I kept it growing. And as it grows, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to graft on the three or four peaches that I like onto this one. This one right next to it, you can see it's just showing off. Uh, this is a pumpkin that I'm growing, when I showed you earlier, it's growing from this bag over here. Uh, that's a 40 pound bag of um, uh, humus and manure. That's what's growing from. And here's a plant that's growing from it. So it may or may not produce any pumpkins, but I'm doing it as an experiment anyway. This right here is a peach tree. This is a starlet, starlet peach tree. And you can see right there I'm doing the same thing. Got the compost around it. Um, this tree now is about six and a half feet tall. I bought it again, nine bucks. Um, you know, just make sure I get my bang for my buck. This is the grapevine that produced this year. And I'm gonna really get it all tied up properly. So that, I mean, looks like I've been in that pole. I mean, I didn't put it up right, so I got some grapes off of it this year. This is a big mound of weeds and crap, and I gotta find out which is which, because I don't wanna take the grapevines and destroy them. Um, so I got two great vines over here, and these just vine, whatever it is, is grabbing onto everything. See how it's got my that's my other cherry tree right there. I go through a lot of this free fertilizer. I'm gonna pour it right down there when I see all the compost down at the bottom, and to make sure I get enough of these chemicals in the, in the soil. I pour it in there, potassium, uh, nitrogen, all that good stuff. I make sure it's in there. Let's see. 
These trees won't survive on their own. I'll make sure they get what they need. All right, later.